oh look, it's my birthday. <laughs> well, I think you probably know that I'm quite a bit older than this. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fabulous 40th birthday balloon display. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artsworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. So the first thing is to open up the packaging by hand. Don't be tempted to use scissors because if you're cutting along the sides, you can easily cut through the foil balloon. It's very, very easy to do. So just take the balloon out of the packaging, put that to one side, and then open up the balloon. Okay, lay it out as flat as you can. And you're looking for this tab here. On this particular brand, you're looking for a little circle like this, silver circle. That is the valve, and that's what we need to look out for. That's where we're going to inflate. I'm using a hand pump, and I'm just going to take the hand pump. I can see this little red tab here, and I'm just going to insert my hand pump beneath the uh, little red tab, and I'm going to start to air inflate. So just a couple of things to notice, you will see in the number four that there is a gap here and once the balloon inflates this gap will close up so don't worry too much about that at the moment. Okay and as you get to the point where the balloon has started to come together at the top here, you need to proceed with a certain amount of caution. I need to inflate a little bit more. so. This balloon is curling up a little bit here, so I can tell that's not quite fully inflated. But as you get to this point, you need to proceed with a certain amount of caution because if we overinflate, it's very easy to pop the balloon. and the balloon pops back into shape okay so I'm happy with that and you can see that here at the top the balloon comes together once it's air inflated now remember with the zeros that some of them like this particular brand are made up of two chambers and so once half of the balloon is inflated you just need to press onto this side and you will start to move the air through into this second chamber. Okay. Then we can inflate some more. that the um, gas inside the balloon, whether it's air or helium, will expand in the warm weather. So you need to, if it's warm where you are, you need to allow for a little bit of expansion. I think my can go a little bit more. For the base, you're going to need 24, 11 or 12 inch rounds. And I'm double stuffing them all. So. So I'll end up with 12 double stuffed balloons. Depending on which inflator you're going to use, you may struggle to inflate double stuffed balloons. So you may just need to start them off a little bit. Inflating to nine inches. So let the air out until your balloon will pass through the aperture. Put a twist in that balloon, that's just going to trap the air in the neck. And then do the same thing here. Put a twist into that neck as well. And then you can take hold of the inner nozzles, pass them over one another, wrap around and tie. Okay, round off slightly. 
and make another one of these dew plates. Take your two dew plates, place one on top of the other and just swap two balloons around like that and that's going to connect them together and make two more of these. Next I'm using four five inch rounds and I'm going to inflate with three strokes of the Qualitex hand pump, round them off so that is approximately four inches. Round them off, then pass the necks over one another, wrap around a couple of times and tie. Okay, and make another one of those. So it's one, two, three, round off. Put a twist in the neck, that's just gonna keep the air in there. And I like to sort of hold on to that at the same time I'm holding on to my hand pump. One, two, three, four inches of air. Wrap the necks over one another, tie. Okay, take your two duplets and wrap them together, okay? And make one more of these. So take your larger cluster of four and take one of the necks, position your smaller cluster on the top, pull the neck through, make sure that the balloon, the smaller balloons are seated in between the larger balloons and wrap that neck around that cluster. Okay, until you can't wrap any more. Okay. Take your cluster and take one of the necks and pull it through, right the way through the centre. Invert the display. Okay, so I've pulled the neck through, cinching it together really well, and I'm wrapping that neck around in that figure of eight motion that we use a lot. Okay. So that's connected those together. Next, I'm taking a sand weight. And I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to make a sand weight. And when I tied the knot, I tied in a 260, okay? And that's because I want to use that 260. I'm taking hold of that inner neck. I'm pulling it through the center and I'm using that 260 to pull right the way through to the other end and then wrap around a couple of times. got your water you've got your sand weight there to take hold of your next clusters position on top of the display pull the 260 through those 260 tails and wrap around in that figure of eight motion okay and that's connected everything together. Take a second sand weight, position it in the end here because we want this display to be weighted at both ends and then pull that 260 through into the centre of the display okay and wrap those 260 tails around. Bring them back up to the end if you want. That's just going to cinch everything together really well. Okay, and what you've got is a really tightly connected display with a weight at each end. Next, I'm using a 260 and I've just snipped off the tip end. And I'm going to use that 260 to wrap up this, the neck of this valve. And I'm just folding that into the neck, rolling that neck up. Okay, until I get to about an inch or so from the, uh, the side of the balloon. And then I'm going to pinch that in half, pinch it together like that. And take the tails of that 260 and just tie in a knot okay 
And then once you've tied once, you can tie a second time. Okay, and that just gives you a neat finish to that balloon. I'm also going to create an attachment point here. So I'm not going to use the, the hole, I'm going to just pinch hold of this. I've taken a 160 and again I've cut off the tip and I'm just placing that 160 over that tab, wrapping it around a couple of times. And when I've, wrapped, whoops, when I've wrapped around, I'm going to tie a knot in the ends. Okay, and again, having tied one knot, tie a second time just for good measure. Okay, and that's just given us a second attachment point. Okay. Take those tails from the zero balloon and pull them into the base and wrap in a figure of eight to connect that zero to the base. So just wrap those tails around. And that's just going to connect everything together really nicely. a foil star in exactly the same way we inflated the number balloons and tied it off here at the valve and then I'm just going to pull those tails here into the base wrap around a couple of times next I'm taking two 160s and just tying them together. Okay. And then I'm going to tie them onto the 160 that I connected to the number four. And I'm going to just pass this 160 strap around here and then I'm going to tie it back onto the other end of this 160. This is just going to help hold everything in position. Next, I'm using some of these U-glue dashes to stick the numbers together. Okay, and just to hold it in place for a few seconds. Now I'm going to put a couple of glue dots onto the star here, just to help support the number four. Okay, so I've now put the display on the floor and the uh, base is protected by one of these decor bags. I've got a, an 11 inch round here, which I've attached to 262, and I'm just going to position this in the back here, just to help support the number zero. And I'm just wrapping that in. Next, I've got a round foil with a couple of glue dots here and to the side. And I'm just going to carefully position that here. Next, I'm going to build out the base. I've created clusters of three using chrome seven inch rounds. And I've also got some clusters of three with uh, five inch rounds. And that's a 
seven inch round uh, made into a split duplet. We're just going to use two sixties, tie some two sixties onto these clusters of three and onto the duplets and um, build out the base. And I've also got some 12 inch rounds and or you could use 11 inch rounds and I'm going to put these in the back. Okay. To make your duplets, just take some five inch rounds and inflate. I'm sizing these organically and just judging by eye. Okay, so you've got a duplet, and if you want to turn that into a cluster of three, just inflate the next five inch round, size down, and wrap that around and tie on, okay? And then what I like to do is I just trim off these nozzles just to tidy that up a little bit. I'm also using some seven inch chrome, okay? So we can't get the chrome in a smaller size than seven inch, but I want some quite small bubbles. So I'm just downsizing the seven inch until this really just kind of fits in my hand and then tying that off, okay, and then I'm just splitting this, it doesn't matter whether it's in half or not, again these are organically sized, and then taking that knot and nozzle, wrapping it round and tying it, okay, so you've got two small bubbles there. I'm using chrome, gold and silver, 7 inch, so I'm downsizing until I get a nice round bubble, putting a twist in that neck and then I've got a little bit of, well almost a full 160 and I'm tying that into the knot, okay? So that's going to make it really easy for me to pull that into the display. So I'm taking some of those clusters and split duplets and just, whoop! <laughs> oh, they're slippery. I'm taking some of those clusters of three or four, I've got a couple of five inch rounds and a gold split duplet here. I'm just going to slip them under this band here and start to position them along here. I'm just going to fill in this little section here. So I've got a cluster of four that I'm putting behind the display and I've got one of my crones with a 160 attached that I'm placing here. Now I've got a small cluster, I'm just going to use the tail from the 260 that we used to tie up the uh, neck of the, the valve of the number four, I'm just wrapping that in. I've got a cluster of four here and another one and I'm just going to pass this 160 through this gap here, position it how I want it and then I'm just going to pull the 160 into this cluster of four at the back here just to hold it in position. I've got another little cluster and I've just got a little gap here and I can just pass the 160 through that gap and wrap into the cluster of four at the back here that I've just put in. Next I'm using a 260 and I'm just going to twist off a small bubble and then wrap this around here and just twist the 260 into that bubble. Okay. And then I'm just going to tidy this up by pinch twisting that, you don't have to if you don't want to, okay, and 
I'm just going to pinch twist that as well. Soften it and pinch twist. Okay. I'm going to do a third pinch twist. going to snip off the end. So remember to pop the like button, that's what we're saying on the channel at the moment, pop the like button and uh, give this video a thumbs up. So uh, I'm trying to make a combination of tutorials that you're asking me to make. Uh, so if there's something you want to, uh, to know how to make, be sure to leave me a comment because that helps me decide what sort of tutorials to make. But I'm also trying to show you some of the displays that I'm making at the moment, that my clients are liking, so that you know, you know what's popular at the moment. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, uh, make sure you watch this tutorial next. I shall put a link up here somewhere. I'll see you again in the next video.